and before we go into this video please grab a snack make a, yourself a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you like to drink because this is going to be a long one and you want to have something to enjoy yourself while, while watching this video because it's going to be a long one <sighs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an empties video and this video is going to be so long, I can already tell, because my empty spin is so full and I don't think I have done an empty video since like August or July or something, so this is so, 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 so overdue. I usually say in these videos that I do them monthly, but this year I really haven't done them monthly. I have tallied my value of my empties every single time I have done one of these videos so those will be down below and I think I will keep doing that um, from now on because I really like to see how much I use up value wise every month <laughs> this is the bag of makeup that I've used up and this is full and yeah there's still a lot so I will write here on the screen when the skincare beauty products uh, part is starting so if you don't want to see the makeup and you just want to skip ahead please just do so i will also have on the screen a little bunny uh, telling you if the product is cruelty free or not so that is why some of you have been wondering why i show you a bunny i think it's obvious but apparently it wasn't so yeah let's just get into the video before this intro is 10 hours long. Let's start off with this foundation. This is from Rimmel London. It is the lasting finished 25 hour nude foundation. I really like this. This was very good. It did last on my skin very well and it covered really nicely. I wouldn't buy it again because it's not culture free because it's Rimmel London isn't. I have a concealer from Makeup Revolution. Uh, it is the Concealer and Define Full Coverage Concealer in C1. I'm so pale all year round that the lightest shade matched me perfectly. I did mix it uh, in the summertime with a darker concealer, but this is a really, really nice concealer. And yes, it's a smaller one, but I don't really mind for the price tag. I have another C1 going right now. I am using and mixing it um, with a concealer and I have a darker one as well. For my face when the one I'm mixing it with runs out. So it's going to be perfect here for winter time. I'm really excited to just keep using it because it's really really good. This brow product is from W7. It is the Brow Sweep Grooming Crayon. This one right here. It is like a wax pencil but you could also make it really natural on, uh, on your brow so only use this. It kind of keeps them in place but I really liked to set it down with a powder as well but yes this is done and I'm really really excited about it actually because it's an extra step you know because I use this a brow powder and a gel which doesn't really make sense um but yeah this is in light brown I believe there is a lighter color and a darker color but I don't know if they're doing it any or making it anymore I don't know but it's really really good if you can get your hands on it and if you like kind of a waxy product for your brows. I have an eye primer from W7 as well. It is the I Got The Power All Day Wear Eyeshadow Base Primer. This is a really really good primer. I have oily eyelids but not that oily so a primer won't work but too oily for a concealer only to work as a primer. Yeah. I really really like this. The only thing I don't like about this range and packaging of the primers are that it's falling apart basically <laughs> and you get the packaging all over your hands and if you use your hands for your makeup you will get this on your face. This one in natural is the transparent one so it doesn't really show up on your eyelids if you really like that. It's a really good primer but take the packaging in consideration I'm not going to buy this again I've used up two cream shadows I don't think you can buy either anymore actually but this one is the W7 eye dream shadow cream in 
Gilded Cage. I should know by now. I have used it all year. It is the lightest shade in the range and it was really, really good. A little bit too pale for my liking, but these are really, really good. But I don't think I would buy another cream shadow anymore. I don't enjoy that extra step anymore and I really thought I did, but I don't. So The other cream shadow I have used up is the NYX Lingerie Eye Tint. And again, I don't think you can get these anymore, but they were really good. I really like these more than the W7 ones. This is in Whimsy. Whimsy, and it was like a pink shadow, a uh, cream shadow. It was really, really good. They really last on your eyelids with or without eyeshadow. And your eyeshadow obviously lasts longer with a cream shadow underneath. But nowadays, the shadows are so good, you don't need these anymore. This is actually a declutter. I don't want to force myself to use this anymore. It is the W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. I have tried to use this all year. If you follow along my series for finished 20 in 2020, you would know that I have not really been using this, even though it has been in my project all year. And it is also um, broken, so I don't, I don't want to use it anymore, so it's just going in the trash. It is old and I don't like a lip primer. And this one especially is really, really dry. I have a lip twister, which is a lip liner from W7. It is in the shade pink. I have gone through several of these and these are so good. I keep raving about them, but they really deserve it. it they are so cheap, they are so comfortable on your lips. And they're just pigmented and they last on your lips. and Often I only have this on and it is a beautiful lip color. You don't need a lipstick over on top. I fill in my lips so they go rather fast. I can do, use one of these up in like one or two months. But for the price tag, they are, they are worth it. They are really, really good. Forever buy that again when I can. Especially the pink shade and, and the nude shade. Those are good. And the red. That I have under this liquid lipstick. Two mascaras. They are just clumpy and I'm... Yeah. So I have used these mascaras since my <laughs> last MTS video. Um, except for the two months that I haven't worn makeup here when I after I got my baby. But yes, Noble Nordic Hey Friends mascara is a staple in my collection. I don't have it right now. But I do plan on buying this again. It is lengthening and defining and actually also waterproof. They don't say it on the packaging but it is and it is a really really good one. The brush on the other hand is a little bit weird. It is a plastic brush if you like that. But yes it is a flat one but the bristles is just really really good and defining and I love it a lot. It is a Danish brand so I don't think you can get it anywhere else than Denmark. Unfortunately, because it's really good. Then I have fallen in love with this. This is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Last Extension Mascara. I have rebought it and another one in this line that I want to try out. It is so good for its price. It is like a fifth of the price of the Hey Friends Mascara from Noble Nordic. No, it's not waterproof at all, which I prefer, but I really don't care anymore. <laughs> I really don't care. Um, after I walk in the rain, I did look like this. Do you think this is a natural brush? brush? The brush is, has a dome in the center, so I think that is really nice. It has these extra fibers. It says with lengthening fibers, and I do think that is correct. And it is voluminizing and everything. I did like to mix these. So I did like this mixture and I tend to mix my mascaras. Um, but I will try to just use this on its own from now on. I will try or mix it with the other one. I haven't decided yet. The bag is empty when I have talked about these. I don't want to consider these makeup but they are not really beauty skincare items either. So let's just talk about them next. I have a base coat and this is the Essence Extreme Last base coat. My nails tend to chip so fast and break and everything like that. When I was pregnant my nails were so long, they were so beautiful, they didn't break. 
But now that after not being pregnant anymore, they are going back to chipping and being awful and I hate it and I miss being pregnant so I could have nice nails. My nails tend to not break when I have nail polish on and use this. So this is something I swear by right now. Um, and I have definitely bought that again. This is a top coat. It is the 3D, 3D Gel Shine Top Coat um, Nail Treatment from W7. There's a little bit left in the bottle, but it is too gooby to even come out or... Yeah, no. I used this forever and a day, maybe more than a year, maybe two years. I have no idea how it lasted this long, but it was really good. I have a uh, one more top coat from W7 and then I need to see what I want to do next because I don't think they are making these anymore either. This one is not a beauty product either but it's not a makeup product but it's like a um, liquid highlighter for your body. It's the W7 Life's a Beach Shimmer Lotion. Um, I am decluttering this because I don't care for it anymore I don't want the hassle and now after having a baby girl I am not using it on my arms or on my uh, upper body just because I don't want to have the shimmer transferring on her so the little bit that I have uh, mixed in with the lotion I only use on my legs unfortunately it's not done because when I showered yesterday I didn't have time to put on lotion afterwards so that is really annoying that I couldn't finish it up um, because I literally only have one use left but it will go in my December empties and that is totally fine but yes I'm going to declutter this it is the golden goddess shade I have one more but I think I'm going to declutter that at some point I just didn't grab it for this video not so exciting is these uh, q-tips and there was like 300 pieces in this one so this is done and obviously I have bought a replacement for that. And then we have some small pocket bags uh, of hand sanitizer. And these were really old and they're done. There's a little bit left in this one but it's so watery. I think water has come into it. Obviously I have used up hand sanitizer and others uh, outside of my inventory. We have them all over the house now. I think everyone has that. So yeah, they're done. They're done. One, the one that fell on the floor was from Belea, and that is a German brand from the drugstore down there, which I bought like four or five years ago. So it was it was time to be used up anyway. And this one is the RFX Care hand gel that I buy in a Danish drugstore called Normal or Normal. Just going to talk about the boring stuff first, and I have another toothpaste from Sendium. It is with the mint flavor. Not going to buy that again. Maybe we will for John. I don't know. Nail polish remover from Beauty by Sacy, and I buy these even though I don't think they are cruelty free, but. I'm so cheap about nail polish remover because it does the same thing so I just buy the cheapest one I can find and the biggest bottle and this is the one uh, with 250 milliliters in normal. It's so cheap that I really don't care and yeah. I have one going already. Some of these are so old that I don't even remember using them up. Okay, yeah, this one is uh, boring as well. It is a deodorant. It is from Avivia. Avivia, I don't know. With aloe vera. It is a natural roll-on organic, no perfume deodorant, but it smells and it is, it worked. But it didn't smell good to me. And it's vegan. I don't. I didn't like it. Let's just put it like that, but it is used up. There's a small bit, but... I can't get it out, so bye bye. I don't normally buy these because I don't take foot baths that often, but I did buy this small pack of foot bath salts um, from our drugstore in the summertime because my feet was hurting so bad because we were on vacation and we was walking and I was pregnant and my feet 
hood and there was so much fluid in them so we bought a little pack of these there was two pieces in here and yeah it is done and i really really liked it i have the big top um so i just bought a small pack because i knew i had the big one okay let's take this because this was so bad it is a uh, matest dry shampoo for dark hair i hated this it felt like a graffiti because this ball was in it and it was dry and yeah it worked but it wasn't great either and it felt a little sticky on my in my hair and no i didn't really like it but yeah i will never buy this again and i cannot recommend it it is from our danish drugstore then something from the body shop i will talk about a few things from there this is the chamomile uh, cleansing oil that i love to death it is worth the money it is a little bit more expensive than uh, the cheaper brands but it works perfectly and it's really really nice and i'll buy this again in a heartbeat but i haven't but i need to this one is a face mask or sheet mask from the body shop it is the drops of youth uh, concentrate sheet mask it was really nice but i'm not a sheet mask girl so i will not buy that again no i have a shower gel from the British Rose line, which was really nice, but I will not buy it again because of the scent. I prefer a mango or something else, not a flower scent, like the fruity ones. A body lotion. It is the Spa of the World Japanese Camellia Velvet Moisture Body Cream. This was like a body butter, but a little bit thicker. I will not buy this again, but I do love body creams from the body shop okay we have the coconut body scrub in a mini size oh yeah this was a mini size as well if you couldn't tell with uh, 48 grams but i really really like this actually it was a little bit more watery or liquidy than i was you that i am used to in a body scrub but yeah i will definitely look into the full sizes of these ones they were really nice oh yeah this one is a declutter as well i have used so much of it it is almost done. So annoying that I can't count it as my empties, but a declutter. It is the One Direction Our Moment perfume. I did my finale for, or the 3 in 1 finale. Oh, I don't think, I haven't posted it yet. Um, not when I'm filming it, uh, at least. But yeah, I tried to spray it on and I was almost puking. It was so bad. It had definitely gone off. They normally don't do that on me. So it was really annoying when it went off by this little but yeah then it just shows you can't get a, a hold on it to it forever i have only had it for like four years though so no five five years yeah let's take some cleansers i have another uh, cleansing product or makeup remover thing it is a cleansing balm from neil shop which it's also a Danish brand. I will. I was going to try this because I wanted something else and I wanted to explore. I did really, really like this. It took a few weeks to grow on me, but I was a little bit hesitant because it is a smaller size than I'm used to. I can't see how much there's in it. I don't know, but it it, it was a really great. Um, cleansing balm and i finished it just yesterday <laughs> so it was just in time for this video i have the ivy aya cleansing mousse um and this is a foaming mousse um you can see on the tip here i love a uh, cleansing mousse at the moment so that is just what i prefer this is a travel size compared to the one that i have now i will not buy this again but it is a really really nice one i just don't feel like it cleanses deeply it's just the surface cleanse so yeah but um it is really really good and the travel size of this is really nice this is an oldie but this is an all-in-one soap that you can use uh, on your body like a shower gel or you can use it as a, f a face wash we did it a little bit of both mostly in the shower on our faces but at some point i just got annoyed because I don't use it in the shower anymore and then John didn't use it in the shower and just sat there so I put it in our um, hand soap dispensers so we're just 
using it as we use it as a hand soap. It is a big one. It's like 500 milliliters, um, but it was a really really nice one, and I actually felt it was a good face wash. So if I'm going to buy it again, I will only have this as my face wash. It didn't dry out uh, my skin or anything, so it was really nice. And it's a it's an okay deal for that uh, amount. Another one from the same brand, Pura Dosane, which is a Danish brand, obviously. Um, it is this one. This is a face serum that corrects um, your your skin. Uh, it minimizes your pores and optimizes. Is that a word? Uh, your skin and gives a glow and. I don't know. Just corrects, okay? I'm not a skincare guru, but this one right here, and I actually think it helped my skin during the pregnancy. My pregnancy did that my skin was uh, really good. I didn't have any breakouts, really, um, and not here after either. I only have one right now on my, my mouth. I tend to get them here on my chin. Uh, my my chin anyways but it's really really good my skin is good i'm happy about it and i do think this has something to say and the peeling that i'm using right now i really really like this and i will buy it again for sure um it is really good so if you have some breakout um and poor problems that one is really good and because i have used this a lot and when I used this, I didn't really need my pore minimizing primer. So, yeah. This one is the Mario Badesco Skincare Drying Lotion. I don't know if this worked or not. Um, and it is in the plastic bottle. I don't know if it worked because the pimples that I tried to dry out with this didn't really dry out. Um, not entirely and not to the... Uh, the point that I was happy about. So I don't think I will buy something like this again. This kind of serum helped me more than a drying lotion. So yeah. And the drying lotion was getting old. So it was it's really nice to have that done. Then I have a serum from W7. It is the Glow It All Face Serum. I'm so happy this is done. I didn't like this. It didn't do that much for my skin. A little bit of hydration and, and lots, of, lots of glow. It was so glowy. It was more like a highlighter that <laughs> didn't dry down. I have gone through two of these and I'm so happy they are not here anymore. I will not buy that again and I don't think I can. The last two products are from the same brand and it is a day cream and a night cream. Yeah, it is from the brand Feel Free right here. Here in the uh, night lotion, this plastic thing came off so it only was the top. <laughs> um, but yeah. I really really liked this combo, it was, the scent was a little weird, I had to get used to it. It is obviously cruelty free and it is really really nice. There's pomegranate oil in it, avocado oil, argan oil, chamomile extract and aloe vera in it. So I think it was a really really good option and it's really cheap and I will definitely buy them again. Even though the packaging breaks but it's a really really good combo. In the spring and summertime, I will get back to something with um, SPF in it, at least for the day cream. That was everything. My basket is finally empty again. <laughs> this was so long overdue. It was long. I'm. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long one. I was a little bit rambly but I really tried to narrow it down so I didn't talk as much. My throat is hurting though so I need to go and have some tea or something before she wakes up from her nap and I need to edit this and get it up for you guys. I really hope you are excited for me to be back. I'm really excited about it and I feel motivated to wear more makeup and film and edit again which is really nice i'm excited to share with you guys what i have planned if you want an entire video about me talking about my pretty planning uh, plans for next year or just some thoughts please let me know down below um i would love to do that 
if you want to see that video. I hope you guys want to. I really like seeing them. So I really want to make one as well if you want to see it. This is uh, the last day of November. So tomorrow is December and there is 11 days until my birthday. And that is just insane. Um, it's, nothing, it's not a major birthday. It's only 26. But it's the first birthday with baby girl here. And that is exciting. And the first Christmas. And... I'm just really excited about this Christmas, it's really special. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and want to stick around on my channel if you haven't already subscribed.